Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 3 on page 418. For what values of a are the vectors x, 3a9, and vector y, a12, 18, collinear? For what values of a are these vectors perpendicular? Step 1. The fact that these vectors, x and y, are collinear, this means that if you draw a number line, that both vectors x and y will be a scalar multiple of one another. So you can imagine x could look something like this, and y would be something like that. So the fact that they're collinear, that means that you can express one vector as a scalar multiple of the other. And again, the k value could be on the left, it could be on the right. I'm going to put it on the left because when you look at the numbers, you will realize that 3a9 is x, a12, 18 is on the right. So you have to multiply the first vector by 2 to get to the second one. And again, you can break this into components, but if you look at this last component, right, the only way 9 becomes 18 is by multiplying by 2. So you can write down the fact that k equals to 2. So this implies that on the left-hand side, this equals to 2 times 3 a 9, which equals to 6, 2a, and 18. And again, you can pair these up and solve for a accordingly. So if you look at the middle component, 12 equals to 2a, 12 equals to 2a. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2, so a is going to be 6. To confirm that, you can always go back to the first component a equals to 6, and this is in agreement with what we did in the second component. So that's the answer for part A. In the second part, they're asking for what values of A are these vectors uh, perpendicular. So if two vectors are 90 degrees apart, don't forget the dot product must be 0. So you can take 3, A, 9, dot this with A, 12 and 18. And again, this will equal to uh, 0. And to find A, you expand this. Again, you can use the arrows if you want to stay organized. There's the first part. There's the second part. There's the third part. So 3 times A, that's going to be 3A. Plus A times 12, that's going to be 12A. 9 times 18, that's going to be 162, and this equals to 0. If you collect like terms, 3 plus 12 is going to be 15, so 15a. You can bring 162 to the right, that becomes negative 162. The opposite of multiplying by 15 is to divide by 15, so a equals to negative 54 divided by 5. I hope this makes sense.